did it just to see if God would bless it. He said, I started an orphanage just to prove that God would bless me. And by the time he died, it cost him $3,000 a week to operate during that time that same orphanage. George Mueller not one time went around, I would like to present my ministry to the church. We help poor little orphanage children. They're six, seven, eight, nine starving children. They need clothes. They need books. They need education. They need everything. He never get into that. You know what he did? He got down on his knees and he said, God, I got some children. I got to feed them, Lord. And I got to clothe them, Lord. And I got to put a place for them to live, Lord. And God, if you don't provide, God, I, we ain't going to have nothing. I need you to do something. Amen. 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 So the milkman would break down. He'd come over there to Jew and George Miller's house and say, my truck just broke. You can have everything on there because it's all going to spoil. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. <laughs> Amen. The big truck came by. Guess what? It broke down. People started to stop going down that road. Amen. I, I, I mean, the, the bread truck would break. Amen. Here, you can have all the bread you want. Amen. And nobody wants stale bread. Amen. You, might, you can have it all. Amen. We're going to give it to you. People would go hear George Mueller and they would not bring their wallets. You know why? Because when they heard him preach, they knew. I'm going to wind up giving. I can already tell. He's going to get to me. I can tell this guy, amen. He's going to tell me, amen. And they say, you know, I'm going to be giving him some money. Right. So they would write, I owe you money on, on the paper, amen, and, uh, and put it in the envelope and then mail him a check. But he never one time asked anybody for anything. Not one time. Because he said, I am going to depend on God and God on. And I like the missionaries now. Now they all send letters and they all send postcards and they all come over. Can I come to your church and present my ministry? And I'm thinking, well, you ain't no George Mueller. Yeah, come on by. Yeah, I used to have a policy, one missionary a month. That's it. First one, first come, you know. If I like you, you might support you. Amen. Uh, I think we got seven right now that we support. Every week, every day, the money would come. There was one day, George, <coughs> and I will go along so you can shut it off if you want. Well, uh, one day, he was a, he was a praying. And there was nothing on the table. No bread, no milk, no nothing. The cupboards were empty. And he told the children, bow your heads, because we're going to pray and ask God and thank Him for the food we're fixing to receive. I can see some amen little boy going, the old man's lost. There's nothing here. <laughs> I can see some little girl. We're praying for food, imaginary food. Do we have to eat, eat it like it's imaginary? <laughs> Sarcasm. Okay, I'm sorry. <laughs> they prayed. By the time he finished praying, the doors opened up, and people started bringing in food. And the people started coming in. And they would say, I got this beef stew, and God said to bring it here to you. Yeah. I got this chicken stew, and God said to bring I got these two pies that we've been baking, and we've been saving them. And we were going to eat them a little bit at a time you know, during the week, but God said to bring it here. And George Mueller prayed every Thing Amen. Amen. 
he brought it in for the children, and the children got fed every day. And he had, yeah, did not yeah. have to yeah. pay for one stinking dollar. Amen. You ever hear me say, all right, give me all your money. Have you ever heard me say that to you? You know why? You want to give? Give. You don't want to give? Don't give. I don't care. Amen. I'm going to depend on God. Thank you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. George Miller was a man. Sixty years, never missed a meal. Faith. Took faith. You get faith by hearing. When the church has no faith, the pastor has no faith. Amen. When the church members have no faith,